Just st stare directly into the camera. Complete eye contact. Don't say anything for like five seconds. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so hello. It's me again. Can I, you know, just doing this because I can. I expect you getting none out of it, you know. Like most of these people, there's not enough light in here. Hold up. Let me see. Ooh, see that's way more light, and I look, you cannot see my eyes, because my glasses reflect light and stuff. Oh, no you can. No you can't. Okay. Anyway. Today I'm making a, a German donut called a Berliner, which is basically like a stuff, it's kind of like a stuffed donut, a filled donut, that's what it is basically. But I'm making a Berliner today, and I just want to get this first part out of the way while I am getting stuff ready. I'm just going to talk about some things again, you know. This is same old, same old. Getting married this year. Uh, we got our car paid off. We got uh, his debt, uh, student loan debt paid off. Private student loan debt. Still got a lot of regular student loan debt because, you know, that's how life is. But anyway, I made this Berliner and I got this recipe off this, uh, this one woman. Uh, let me see if her, I think All Taste German. What's her name is? I don't know if that's the term name YouTube too, but it's off her web this website she has. I want to try this and stuff. But, yeah. So, first things first, the pre dough recipe part here is the. Honestly, check out this website. I'm not a good cook. I'm not teaching you how, you know how to do this. Just check out the website if you're actually watching this mess. Um, four cups of flour in this bowl. We got a packet of yeast. One fourth milk. Supposed to be lukewarm. Supposed to warm it up, but I'm not doing that. Uh, it can warm up regularly and some sugar this is going to be the pre-dough sponge thing the sponge is when you it's a it's a yeast mixture with a uh, darn old flour in it and this is basically about to be a donut it's going to be a fried donut like we usually like a regular donut but the first thing you gotta do in the videos you gotta make a well in your dough I mean your flour so I'm just gonna move this thing around and put a hole in the middle of the flour. I don't need to do too much. Just need to make sure that the flour can sit to the side. I don't need to move all of it out of the way either. Just to make sure it doesn't fall down when you try to mix it. All right. So now I'll show you. I got it down looking like this little crevice inside the thing. Add a well, and I'm gonna add the sugar, the yeast, and the milk. Let me get this yeast pack open up. <sighs> this this recipe takes three eggs. Oh, an egg and three eggs, and two egg yolks. So you know you're gonna be getting your hands real messy this one. Do we have an egg yolk separator out here yet? To separate the egg yolk from the egg white. I'm pretty sure it probably exists. I gotta look at that mess up. But probably any probably. If she can, she'd be over here later to help out with a little bit of this. Right now she's working. Ooh. I really don't have anything to talk about on these cameras. I'm bad. All but uh, mad at talking people. But you know. Milk. Put a yeast in the middle, put milk in the middle. And then add your sugar. And what else? That's it, right? The heck, where did it? Yeah, that was it. Okay, sweet. And add the sugar. And I gotta gently mix it and not make the sugar around the flour around to collapse onto it. Don't no want to dry this out before it has a chance to. Start doing the thing. So I'm going to gently mix it with a whisk right here. Gently mix it. Doesn't matter if it's dry or not because we're going to add more milk to it later and egg and stuff. Ooh. That's been gently mixed. I'm just going to put this to the side. I'm going to put. I'm going to put on this. I'm gonna cover it and allow it to sit for 15 to 10 minutes. And that, that gives enough time, enough ample time to get all the rest of the stuff together. And yeah, 
all that mess. So I'll be back when it's done. That is so much light on my face. Ooh, we can see all my pores. I have bad hair, I have a bad face. Who cares? I didn't get dressed for this because I am bored and lame and lazy. Anyway, so, you know, so now that our, our stuff is somewhat, it's going to look like a little spongy, doughy, flowery thing. Cause I got to mix a little bit of flour in there. Don't want to be too unliquidy. So be down there now. I guess I can show that now. I probably should be doing painting shots. So whenever I mention this mess, I can cut in the painting shot when I'm talking about it. You know, like, it looks like this right now. This is spongy, mushy mess. It's probably should incorporate more flour into it, but who cares? It's, it's all going to go to the same place. Anyway, so now that this has gotten some, you should smell it. It probably has a little bit more uh, yeast smell to it. Not much, but a little bit more. We're gonna add uh, the eggs. Basically, you gotta add egg. Basically, everything else you're adding that now. Every else side and to the side. To the side, I have some. You know, three egg, uh, one regular egg and egg yolks. I don't know if I need to mix it up now or not. Got some milk. So look at the list right now. Some vinegar. You both have rum for this. I don't drink really. I'll drink every now and then, like a, a, a vent, but I don't drink. So I got some uh, rum extract my mom had left over because I don't know why she had it. She just did. She didn't even use it. So, some a pure vanilla extract. Some, uh, it said lemon zest, but I don't have lemon to zest. So, what I did, I just went to the store. Oh, that's the store. I actually had some lemon juice on me. I forgot to buy the lemon before. I had lemon juice on me. So, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Equals zest. That's what I looked up on the internet, and it said, and that should and some butter and some sugar. But I'm gonna measure out later. Okay, but seriously, yeah. Okay, so now it says add this. Add the sugar, the zest. Okay, so I'm adding the vanilla extract, the rum and the vinegar, when it's dough form. So you can't add that too early, I guess. Might kill a yeast. And then, um, yeah, that, so I'm adding, okay, sorry for repeating myself a lot, I just try to read this thing and do it at the same time, it's hard sometimes. Okay, so milk, egg, yolk, lemon zest, and sugar. So I need to measure out my sugar, and it's two tablespoons, two, a half cup of sugar. Where's my, where's my cup? What the heck? Oh, there it is. I got a half cup right here. So I've done this earlier, but you know, who cares? Yeah, everyone else get tired of when you go to the store and you're buying like ingredients like sugar and stuff. It's like just falling out of the bag. Let me do a better angle of this mess. I wish I had like a taller tripod so I can get better angles. I'm gonna do it over here. Nope, oh, do it over here. Still, actually, this is the best angle I have right now, actually. That's crazy. But anyway, so I wanted to talk about your wedding stuff again, because you know, this basically, this basically, every time I upload, it's a weekly situational vlog update on the wedding stuff. So wedding's happening. Still, it's gonna be coming soon. It's gonna be June second. It's gonna be on Sunday. This is great. There's still issues with everybody that we have. Biggest issue: one, our friend group and the friend that had a falling out with them don't want to meet each other again. Don't want to talk to each other and hang out again. Big whoop de doo who cares, not your day, get over it, right? The issue with it, you know, you can always tell us you don't want to do it or you have an issue with it. And at the end of the day, I get it, I get your concerns, but, you know, it's, it's, who cares? I care enough, but not that much. I think that they should really get over it a little bit, not too much. You don't need to be friends again, just, just act like you like each other for like a little bit. It's not like y'all did too much crazy mess anyway. The biggest reason is... The reason that caused the falling out doesn't even exist anymore. That person is gone. And I'll tell <laughs> Wow, just out of nowhere in the darn old background. But yeah. So I gotta mix this thing in my hand so it's gonna be extra work, but adding lemon zest now. Lemon adding milk and lemon zest at the same time. 
or lemon juice is what it is. I can't call it zest. It's not zest. It's juice. But the biggest issue that caused the friend group to fall out like that does not even exist anymore. They're gone. They're out of there. So, their house burned down too. That's pretty funny. The, the, the pop, not really that funny. It's messed up. They, they're all they're right, but they, that's just karma coming back to them. But, um, yeah. This causing issues for no reason now. I'm getting all these eggs together. Because there's no point having them separate now. Add all the egg in. Look at that. Look how yellow that is. How much egg yolks in there? Anyway, I was saying, they don't wanna, they don't want to hang out together, and they want to throw a bachelorette party, and which Angie does not care about. She don't even like most things, and the friend doesn't know what she likes. The friend that is not part of the friend group no more. And you're like, oh, it'd be fine. Just give me the contact information for the people. The people don't want to see them no more. Actually. Give me, give me contact information. Here's the thing though. The friend that's not part of the group anymore blocked them. They blocked them. This off by themselves. So they have power to get the contact information back together. But they won't. So, you know. And at any point, they could have had contact again, you know? Gonna need a little bit more milk. I'm gonna add the butter. Oh, hold up, one second. Let me pause this for a second. All right. <clears throat> All right. I had to figure out where to put the butter at. It goes in the same time when you put in the rum extract, the vinegar, and the vanilla extract. It just goes in when the dough is kind of made. You just got to fold the dough into the dough that's already pre basically pre-made and stuff. So, yeah. it's a lot of flour in this mess. They expect you to use a ding-ding mixer. And I forgot to add the sugar into the milk, so I got to throw it in with the milk, with some extra milk, so it can actually get in there. But this mess is annoying. So... I gotta make this smooth and elastic without that much liquid so I can add the butter and stuff and it's stupid. But I might add a little bit more liquid though. I don't, I don't, but I don't mess this up so long. Oh, there it is. Look for this. Extra spatula. But yeah, there's a lot of... Angie made a joke off camera. I wish I had was recording for this mess, but she said that this should be a a drama show because like this is this mess is funny. The mess is hilarious. Too many Way too many. Too many people have too many issues. My mom's upset. You, <laughs> you want to come over camera and tell us? That was this? So I can pause it and you can get dressed. All right, I'll go pause it. You, like you don't feel like getting dressed? All right, just come sit down next to me. <laughs> it's hot as heck. It's hot as heck in here. Why is it so hot? I see you don't want to be seen. <laughs> she won't be seen. But yeah, there's too many people going crazy because we got Kanai's mom getting mad at the bride. Uh, that's what is the bridesmaid? Wait, no, the not the bridesmaid. The maid, maid of honor. honor because she wants to wear burgundy, even though we said that it's fine, and they're gonna wear different shades of pink, even though they don't want them to, even though that's what we want. And then my mom and dad and just my whole side of the family and his side of the family just going to be acting like there's issues. And they want security for that mess, which I'm not letting happen. <laughs> put that in such a short form. <laughs> it's so stupid. You put that in such short form. Okay. Well, that's how it is. That's how it is. Yeah, you're right. That's how it is. I don't ramble. I know, I remember, that's probably my issue. I'm a rambler. Anyway, see, now you get to see my hands, my ugly, uncut fingernails mess with this mess. This mess is hard as heck. This mess make me sweat. Hold on, I gotta stand up. But yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Gotta try to make this mess smooth so I gotta fold it into itself a lot. That's what I have in mixture is a good idea. Did you get the computer ding? Yeah. What did, I wonder what it ding for. But yeah. Ooh, now my arms are. See, this is a good workout. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. Why is she even still trying to do stuff? 
I'm a rat. I'm a rat. Someone I'm overachieving? Yeah. Even though they might get fired today? Yeah, the workplace is crazy. Angie might be fired today from her cool job that's making her a lot of money. And she was on warm about this on Friday. Gave her two days. Well, I'm gonna get an even better job, so. Yep. Don't even care. Nope. <laughs> job market's crazy. Anyway, back to the wedding stuff. So yeah, that's going on. She told her dad. Her dad's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> anyway. He don't care. He does, he does not seem like he cares. I don't know. He does not care. Mom <laughs> well, acting like he's gonna control it, but how? Even though that she's the one controlling it right now. She's gonna tell us to get security. Get security. But you can't pay for the movie. <laughs> I can't help out with nothing. No, but you're gonna pay for security. She's making plans to try to pay for security with my grandma. So if she can do that, she can help with something for the wedding. For real. And nobody asks for security, and I'm not having security at the wedding. Like, bro, I don't want that. Alright, my uncle a cop. My other uncle's a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got enough security. Like I get some people might want security at their wedding for whatever reason and stuff. But like I was looking that up to see how much it would be too. And everyone like in the forums are like, why the heck you need security for your wedding? For real. Like at that point, then if you don't need it for a particular reason, then it seems tacky. Okay, I'm putting my hands in this mess. This mess is annoying. I'm taking tired of this. If y'all, okay, no, no, I'm taking the camera. If you, if you have a recipe online, don't put stand mixture instru instructions. Give you regular instructions too. Do it both ways. It's stupid. Not everyone has a stand mixture. I don't have room for stand mixture in this place. You know the mess is like $300? That's crazy. I want a good stand mixture too. I want that cheap mess. I want that mess that can make ding ding pasta. That can make ground meat. I want all that. Okay, never, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> I genuinely kind of lost it there. Sorry. You're saying? <laughs> because I was saying, if you don't need the security for like a particular reason, it's kind of tacky. Like, because, like, why do I, if I never ask for security, stop trying to make this a whole big thing than what it is. It's so tacky. Yeah, it is. It's mad tacky. It's stupid. I don't want security. It's going to make everyone uncomfortable. Like, why do you need security here? Exactly. What's going to go down? Nothing's going to go down. Because nothing's going to happen. Because everyone likes to talk a mess. Yap, yap, yap. Yink, yink, yink. But no one cares. They're gonna start the issue and they're like, oh, we go to security for this for us, then they go start something there. Like, having security when they would have just minded their business anyway. The only security I need is my family. They are, they are gonna stop anything. There's so much flour in this recipe, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. They act like it's gonna ruin my day if something breaks out. Like, I'm pretty sure something's already going to break out because there's too much going on anyway with all these people having issues with each other. Real. It's not going to ruin my day. It's going to make it because bro, weddings be boring and if nothing happens, we're just going to be dancing and eating the whole time. Might as well have something happen. That'd be so cool. For real. And I'll get it on camera. Heck yeah, bro. Dog, if I'm paying two thousand, almost $2,000 for some cameraman, bro, Y'all better record that fight. I better see that fight on World Star Hip Hop by the next hour. By the next hour, it should be a World Star Hip Hop. We can always redo whatever we can. We want to bring the catch for us. For real. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I'm about to get this mess elastic. I don't know. This is good enough gloves. They use these gloves in kitchens. They use these in Kroger's. Not really. Don't matter. They ain't gonna have no taste to them. Gloves are gloves. As long as you can use it right, make sure they're cleaned off first. I clean off my gloves first before I even use them. Rinse them off, you know, with hot water and stuff. You gotta make sure your cooking gloves are clean. I don't have the black gloves everyone has. It's not gonna have no plastic taste because it's the same smell as this spatula. These aren't just regular. These are, these are latex gloves, but I'm pretty sure they're safe. I've seen people serve. I've served these with these gloves in elementary school. I don't know if that supposed to do that, but oh, sure. yeah. Served what? They served food with these gloves on. Oh. Probably not the best gloves for this, but you know, who cares? 
This thing's not gonna come out elastic. Look at this mess. This mess is dry as heck. You gotta try to fold this mess inside itself. This is as good as it's gonna come out. I gotta add butter to this dry heap. Oh, it actually, they have to fold it inside itself more. Oh, there you go. Oh, see? No, I'm messing up. I just need to fold it inside itself more. That's what. See, if you ever think your dough's too dry, start folding itself. Start folding on itself, and it'll come out more elastic at the end. Because the moisture's inside your dough, and not outside your dough. Alright, now I can probably switch to regular gloves so there's no liquid on this. I mean, switch to my regular hands. My hands are pretty quick cut, they're clean. I wash them all the time. Probably gonna get a little bit underneath my nails, but it's gonna be fine. Let me get, let me get a, let me get my thing out. This is why it's always good to have one of these little mats. One hand, got a little mat right here. Just gonna take my dough out, throw the rest of this flour down on here. I'll make this elastic. You know? Anyway, back to what I was saying. This is like a faceless hand thing now. But yeah, that's that issue. You know, the biggest issue, I think they just weren't friends to begin with. Because every story, every story I hear that comes out of their friendship, it sucks. You got thrown into one of the, the girl, one of the girls got thrown into a wall by a dude. Other girl made it up all about her, herself. And she's not the one that got thrown into a wall. It's like, oh, I'm breaking down crying on the side of the road. That was so crazy scary. Ah, uh, uh, I can't believe he got, he, I can't believe, I thought we were friends. Ooh, like dog. It got bothered into a wall. And then she's going to take credit for birthday stuff that she never paid anything for. And when Angie asked if, how much we need to pay her back, I said, don't worry, it's good. She didn't pay for any of it. And our, uh, two of the things you hang on our walls are still there. Turned out they're permanent. How the heck did you do that? Uh, I hope they're not permanent. They, they seem pretty permanent to me. Okay, let me move this off to the side here. That's powder. It's not gonna, not gonna stay there. No, I'm not gonna blend in to the thing. Hold on. This is a very, there's gonna be a lot of jump cuts here. Let me see. I'm gonna add this, use this bowl again, get some of this dry this out of here. Gonna keep some of it in here though. So now I'm gonna add the vinegar. I'm gonna put this back in the bowl. We're gonna add the vanilla extract, the rum, and the vinegar. So it wants us to add, okay, see so me? I can't even see, you close the thing, then camera thing, I can't even see. That's can't even see the inside of the bowl. There you go. Oh, this bowl's hard to look inside of. There you go. Hey! So now, I'm gonna add some vanilla extract to this and some rum extract and some vinegar. And then when I add some soft butter to it, I'm gonna fold it into it and that's gonna be good, I guess. The vinegar says you do not worry about the vinegar. It will not make it taste vinegary. It will taste, make it taste. Why do I want to use that word? It make it taste like um, what do you call it? It won't make it taste at all. Make it pillowy. So it is. How I many? It's one tablespoon of vinegar. You still smell that vinegar. Ooh wee, that's strong as heck. Clear as heck too. It's still vinegar. Three tablespoons of rum. We taste some rum, but we don't have that much, so it's gonna do one. Also, they say you can place the rest of it with milk. Just gonna pour all that in there. Now let me go. So let me grab the milk real quick and we'll replace the rest of it. Two things of milk. Now that technically, actually, is not realized that's gonna make butter milk. You know. Place the rest of it with milk. A lot of this, this, this video sucks dick. 
I was going to say that in the camera. Mm. I was going And I need a teaspoon of vanilla. Now it's getting dark all of a sudden. And after I get this done, we can go to the pet store and get some more pet items. They really expect y'all guys to work still though, don't they? Even though y'all may be getting fired today. We can label this making Berliner and uh, wedding drama. Be a good title for that. It's very dumb. All right. All right. Let me make a little gap in here so I can pour this mess in and fold it over itself. All right. So adding the vanilla rum and vinegar. Fold the dough over itself. You play bring your dough now. I got incorporated into the dough. It says now I'm gonna to have to get the gloves again. I threw away gloves earlier because I didn't need them no more. Now let me cut this. Piece. All right, now I'm back, and I'm gonna add the milk to this too. That's sweet. It's soft. And this once again this is the issue with recipes. I have because I kind of misread it and it needed it too much a little bit. Now you add the milk and stuff to it. I was supposed to add it while it's starting to knead it. That's why these mixer recipes are stupid. Not everyone has a mixer. And also, do not make, if you're going to have to add something to something, do not make it say, do not say, it says right here. It says add the sugar, eggs, and all that to make the dough to a mixer and knead it for 10 minutes. And then it's going to say the next recipe, next part of the recipe step. After, during the first couple minutes of kneading, add milk, sugar, uh, add, add your vanilla, rum, and whatever. Like dog, do not. Why would you, why would you tell someone that second, dog, tell someone that first. It makes it way easier. Now I gotta try to make sure this thing isn't destroyed. And now I gotta knead this mess. Hopefully it's come out good. I would say it's a good recipe. No more. Nah, I'm not hating though. But it still pretty looks pretty good. But I still it's, it's annoying. That's dumb and annoying. Don't do that. If you're gonna tell someone to do the recipe, I read that thing like five times to figure out where that butter was at. It's so, like, first things first, bold your ingredients where the ingredients are going. Cause there's so much. They, you don't need to say so many words just to tell me to add butter. So sorting it first things first, and then you know all that other stuff. It's, a, it's stupid annoying. Anyway. Gotta figure out what I gotta do next. Alright, now I gotta get this all mixed up. So hopefully this thing won't mess up now because it told me told us too late to do it five minutes into it. Tell me do 10 minutes of stuff, but it's stupid. Don't think this makes me mad, man. That's why I don't do recipes, bro. That's why I don't like cooking on camera. That's why I don't like doing instruction stuff. Cause I get distracted and then I mess stuff up. That's why I don't like doing this for camera stuff. That's why I don't like making content. Stuff sucks. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, that's stupid. Do not tell someone to do something and then say, oh, also during the first couple, like, no, tell me that first time. Hopefully I can make this mess work. Now I'm doing with super wet dough. 
here that's not going to be solid. Like so it's like, maybe it's my fault for not reading all the way through, but also I feel like you really should not do that. Do not say, oh, during the first few minutes after saying 10 minutes in the second part. Maybe you should say during the first about 10 minutes and then first part of 10 minutes, add this and then say, do this then. Okay, now this mess is all gooey, gross mess. And I feel like I messed it up. And that's, that's my little rant. But it still seemed like a really good recipe. I feel like trying it and do not make the mistakes I made. All right, I'm just gonna let this thing, I'm trying to pull this thing inside itself right now. This thing's so sticky and gross now. I feel like I could fix this. It's coming out come pretty all right. It's it's mixing in more. It won't be smooth. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. But it looks like it's all right. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's, it's getting more smooth. It's sticking to my hands right now, but I'm trying to flour it up. Coming up pretty well. I'm just gonna put this into a silver bowl. I'm gonna let it sit. But that's my little rant for that. If you're gonna put instructions, be more clear. Cause not everyone, I I get. I'm not a strong reader. I'm not stupid. I did misread it a little bit. That was still the worst way to word it. You can't put step five, ten minutes, and then step step six. In the first couple minutes of your step five, do this. That's that's just not how this works, bro. But I ain't trying to hate on person recipe and their content or whatever. It's just like, I feel like that could cause some confusion like I did that there. But I might just be done. Anyway, I'm going to put this into this silver thing right here. Let's pour that right in. I'm just going to let that chill in there. Cover it up for uh, like an hour or two hours. And I'll be back when that's done. Mess up again. I gotta incorporate the butter into the item first. Once again, this recipe is <laughs> that one. This one's my fault. Before step six being incorporate stuff within the first couple of minutes or something after saying ten minutes is pretty crazy to me. Not trying to blame no one though, but you know it's, it's it's just like I go step by step. I don't go by. I don't read ahead. I don't feel like I should have to read ahead in the recipe. But let me incorporate the soft butter. I got some really soft butter to sit in that for a second now. Here. There's also a crazy thing I figured out. You can actually let this butter sit out for like a day or so before it goes bad. It's crazy. I'm gonna slowly incorporate the butter. Look at that. Look at how the butter just the butter just completely makes this thing smooth all of a sudden. We gotta incorporate a whole uh, six tablespoons of butter here into this dough. This thing's smoothing all over the place, slipping and sliding. That's why it's, it's not that I have a mixture, but I don't have no mixture. And I'm, I have one on the street, so I'm not trying to get one. You know, what happened to the good old days when people used to mix it with their hands and elbow grease? My favorite ingredient. <laughs> I'm, stupid. I'm stupid. But yeah, the fact of the matter is, sorry for ranting all about that mess. It's stupid. I don't care about that mess. Yeah, I listen. I guess I'm just incompetent in the kitchen. But um, yeah, my family is like, oh hey yeah, it's your wedding. You to do your wedding. Okay, okay, we're cool with her. No, don't do that. It's your wedding. Okay, okay, we're cool with her wedding. Red. No, don't do this. Your wedding. Um, it's like, is this a joke? No, don't do this. Your wedding. So like is is the the fact of fact is like can I move this back? I don't care about my product. I'm talking about me. I'm shut up. <laughs> I'm the vocal point of this video. I'm here. I was saying basically though is what's the whole point? Us T telling me it's y'all wedding. You do what you do, but don't let her do that. We say it's cool because we don't care. We don't like weddings. We actually hate weddings. We don't like anything about it. We don't like the, the dancing and the food. 
like so who cares like i don't get this whole everyone's trying to control my thing your heart just wanted us to do what some dumb colors like red her colors that like she likes i realize that now we us oh wait, i sent her name i asked that one friend what color she likes and she said color, what color she's like oh i said playing wedding you guys and she's like okay you guys are doing this but we don't like those colors at all. Those are all right colors. We're saying it's all right because we just didn't know what to do. And then it's like, oh, you got to pick up pink colors. What's your color scheme? And then we pick our color scheme. It's like, oh, I don't like pink. Oh, snap. It's like, it's like, it's all ready. What's going on here? Does this happen to everybody? Does everyone have this situation? Has anyone ever been married? You know, can someone please tell me? How how often is it people try to dictate your own your wedding and then proceed to tell you it's your wedding, pick your things, but then try to dictate your wedding? It's annoying. Hey. What? It's like, bro. Like I get you won't look out for me. I think you won't know the best for me, but you don't know me. You don't know me enough. You know? Like yesterday, I told my family that I like raccoons. I think raccoons are cool. And mind me one day, I would love to have pet raccoon. Like you like raccoons? Yes, I do. Also like possums. They're cool too. You like possums? Why would you like possums? Cause I'm me. You don't know me. People don't know us. My bad. This game about to die. I'll be back when I'm done. Oh, this is dead already. I charged up. It's on five. It's on four percent. I'm about to. <laughs> I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it all here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm back finally. It's been like uh, what is it? This is technically two hours later, isn't it? from when I last recorded thing. So it actually came out pretty well in the bowl. So I'm making this stuff. But it came out pretty well. Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing's on. You can see it from the Darno, just any angle. Dang, bro. Jeez. Oh my gosh, this, you can get 14, okay, you can get like 14, 14 things out of this. Nice to know. Jeez. Supposed to be big poopy too, so that's that. How many pieces I cut this one to? 12 pieces, okay, equal size. She said, to measure, she said you can measure them, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. Um, I'm not sure you cut them up. You know, I'll take it like a pastry cutter. Jeez Louise, all right. So. You hear that, I don't see you hear it. So now I'm gonna flower my area, but anyway. So yeah, that's the biggest issues I have in my stuff. You know, once I get my dad helping me out, uh, he's gonna, he's, he's great. He's gonna tell me that he has like a brain tumor. After he got surgery, and it's gonna like, just disappear me again. But yeah, he's cool. I know he's fine. He's fine. He texts me every now and then. But yeah, what's going on there? I can't record that again. No, my you good? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's just. Oh, look at that. Can part a lot in there, but it is that's where it needs to be. I screw all this one off the bowl. I guess I'll be back when I screw it all off the bowl. I got it. I don't need to do that actually to screw off the bowl. There's a big smell of rum in here. I was waiting actually. Right, I'm going to need a lot more flour than this because this thing is so big and uh, so moist. Put some flour. Oh, yeah, that's really, that's really moist. Jeez Louise, dang, bro. Oh, it's wet as heck. Good dolly. This is crazy. What's up on this now? But yeah, that's just how it is. 
and hopefully our other friend part of our friend group is not having issues in their relationship right now because uh, something happened at a uh, party who uh, wasn't really like big argument or nothing it was just like someone ran off to do something got some snacks or something someone looked at their phone uh, and then they didn't sit next to each other for a second but yeah I'm just hoping that things work out fine for our wedding and stuff because I'm not trying to have I can't even kind of have fights there because it's going to be so funny to have issues around us, we're low gremlins, for real. Let me sit down with this mess. Just wait, you sit down. Oh, this is a really good camera angle. Like, don't care. Look, that's the uh, stuff we use to make uh, little scrubs, scrubs and sugars and soap things. We don't really use it that much anymore, but our little uh, lip gloss uh, bath salt bar right there, that's what I call it. Could look better than that, but you know, this is an extra shelf that we got. Alright, but yeah, so we went outside to get some uh, ferret items, some items from a, a store, and we went out to get to the store, we're going to look at the wall going downstairs, because we up, look upstairs in the apartment complex area thing, and so we have kids, so basically our apartment building is the bus stop. For the kids, because at the entrance of the apartment uh, lot area complex thing, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it. I think you call it a plot, apartment plot, whatever. Anyway, it was at the entrance of it, and so you know, all the kids stand there because where that's where the kids get on the bus and stuff. And the craziest thing is too. Those kids are bad as heck. It's like so we get three. There's three stops, you know, for each school style: middle school, high school, and elementary school. There's three stops. Uh, three, not three stops. This is one stop. Three groups, and the last group. I don't know what they are. They might be high schoolers or middle schoolers. I feel like the high schoolers because sometimes they we look. I look outside the window. You know, they look be looking huge, and but then again, kids are getting bigger and bigger by second nowadays. Uh, but I look out the window. You know, they're all being acting up, being crazy. So we go down. They're allowed really in the morning. That's basically my. I don't need alarm anymore. As long as it's school day, I'm basically being woke up at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock now. It's ridiculous. And we try to report it to the darn old building multiple times now, but they don't do nothing about it. They can't do nothing about it. They're gonna send out an email and do nothing. Even they try to ban the kids from being in there like a, like last year. So I don't want the kids to be banned being in there. I know if it gets cold, they should be in there, but. If it gets wet, rainy, all that mess, it should be, they should be in there. But I just want them to quiet the heck down, bro. Like, it's not that hard to be silent for like five seconds. Jeez Louise. But the biggest thing that today is when we went out the via ding dang staircase, down the staircase, we looked at a wall that is adjacent to the stairs. So, you know, they've got the stairs on one side, the wall on the other side. There was footprints going up the wall. Not down the wall, up the wall. The footprints were mad dirty, just a lot of dirt. On the sidewalk because that area kind of floods a little bit so when it rains it gets a lot of mud and dirt there but when it dries up it just turns into straight dust and so going up the wall were footprints i can tell from how the footprints were looking so they were walking up the i don't know how they do this i hope they were just putting the shoes in their hands but if they're walking up the walls we have issues because it was next to the staircase and the staircase does have a little bit of distance but they're walking up it so they had to be laying down but they're they're Laying down like this, up on, putting their weight on the staircase, walking up the wall, but they had to be probably full extent, full extended, and and they had <laughs> to do it backward, look at the ceiling. So that these kids are awful. They smoked last year. Hopefully these kids are gone now, but I think they're gone now. Kind of smoked, smoked weed in a while. They were smoking weed in the uh, the the breezeway and. The thing with this area, like, yeah, the weed is not, like, illegal, arrestable anymore. Not really, I don't know. I don't know if Virginia would really pass that law yet. But they don't really harass you about it anymore. But the office does not like weed being here. So they've been trying to ban weed and get people who smoke weed in trouble. I'm not trying to get that on us, for real, because we had neighbors that smoke weed. And the smoke be getting in our house, and I don't want to be caught, like, be want to get in trouble for someone else smoking weed, bro. You know, I'm so sick tired of this mess. Like, I, I don't care if you smoke weed, but I just can't stand the smell of it. Keep that mess in your house and not in my house. Stop smoking weed outside, idiot. Like, that's all I'm saying. 
But this stove looking pretty well, pretty nice. I was worried that it was gonna be messed up. Ooh. It's actually pretty good. Make sure you keep it on a floured surface. I gotta get my roll bin up. Second one. Folding it inside itself once again to keep the get the moisture uh, formed up in all of it. Shout out to that one issue of my fan group that's no longer there for teaching me how to make dough. Don't think you're good for. Also, your music sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feel bad for the family members who were stuck in that house fire with them, but they're all fine. But now they got no uh, Now I gotta live in a hotel until Red Cross fixes the house. Press that point. I don't care. Nothing. I really want to be a hater, but you know, once you do something stupid. While on else, someone else is dying, you get what you get. You can't throw it. But yeah, now I'm roll up this dough here. I'm gonna need to get a rolling pin and a lot more flour, so I might need to roll out the other black flour. I'm just trying to get rid of these two bags of flour anyway, so. Put more flour down, down here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, don't want to try to overflower this thing, but let me get the moisture down a little bit. There you go, that should be good. Try to spray this around so I can roll it out without having to worry about it being bad. thing out a little bit and stuff and uh, I'll be back when I cut actually I'm just gonna cut it on camera and I'm gonna roll them up too and then I'm gonna come back when I get all of them done so let me roll and roll this a little bit more yep. Sometimes when I be doing this. And now let me get my pizza cutter, light pizza cutter, it's really good for dough. And it's gonna cut right, ooh, dang, cut right here. Put that to side. Right here. Cut that way. And it's gonna roll it. And he said raise. He <coughs> said raise and a pan, but I'm gonna put them on a flower surface right now so I can just handle everything else. Hold up. Jeez, Luis is not fold on himself. There you go. Let's fold on itself and then start rolling surface to like smooth that. Oh, almost there. Almost there. You can roll it on your hand like this to until it actually like covers up the entirety of the thing. That's rolled out cracks. Takes a second. Maybe a little bit of speed, maybe a little bit wet hand wetter hands, but less dry. But it works. It's almost there. It's legit almost there. It's getting smaller, smaller by a second. But you don't have to worry about it, really. It most likely will go away when it proofs. It's just gonna grow in itself. But then take another one, fold it in, take the ends, push them in together, 
take the sides, push them in together, around the cracks, over and over again until the outside comes smooth. And just keep doing that over and over again. That's what I learned. Boom, boom, and you can roll it. And if it gets sticky enough, it'll, it'll just seal itself up in your rolls. It's also, it'll round out more my proofs. Roll it. Anyway, I'll be back. I'm done with that. Okay, here we've got the doll, the, the doll of bowls. The ball of dough. Just uh, sitting out. We're going to let these proof, and then uh, we'll put them in front of some frying oil. Hopefully they come out good. It only takes two minutes, it says. Hopefully they don't mess up on each side. Two minutes on each side, so it says. So let me make sure. Okay. I'm about to flatten these first. <laughs> so let me get let me do that real quick. So yeah, let me do it. Okay. So I'm just gonna flatten. 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 Button. And then they will poof up. I'm trying to get the complete roundness of them. So just move it. Flatten. 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 The balls don't and flatten. Makes sense. I'm supposed to cover them with a towel, but I don't like covering towels. I do just do uh, plastic wrap. It's easier. I don't have to clean towels. Also, I don't have to worry about no dust in the towel. Get on the mess. Let me just get one more little sheet. Because I got a whole big roll, so it don't really matter. I don't like. I don't trust. The, like, this is like dust in it and like lint, and I'm not trying to get it on there. So it's kind of flatten them and put stuff on them. This one can go over too. Here, there you go. And then, there you go. And I was wait for a whole nother hour. This thing takes forever. Heck yeah. We'll get back when that's done. All right, so the alarm should be going off any time now. For my phone, probably not. I think I turned it off, I don't remember. I legit just did it anyway. So now that these are poofed up a little bit, now you gotta wait again for 30, se uh, 30 minutes. So, wait 30 minutes for this mess. I'm glad it turned out all right and it's not gonna be messed up. Uh, back. Uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so now the ding dang oil is ready. You got to get the oil to 330. And basically, what you do is just put the donut in there for two minutes on both sides. So, we want to do that. I got my thermometer, frying thermometer here. I'm just going to grab, simply grab one of my spoons. My lot of spoon. They say you use a complete saw, like a completely like a like a spider filter spoon thing, but I don't got that, so I've got this. It's gonna slowly lower those in with the spoon you got and just kind of smear it off. And when it fries, you know, just you know, count two minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna do my phone because I'm not feel like doing that today. Hoo <laughs> Put them right behind the. The camera's on a timer right now, so it's not pop a little bit. So I'm gonna back up from that. Get all boiling oil. Two minutes. A minute to two minutes on both sides, they said, so. Go like that. Do my apron. Not trying to get myself hurt here. I'm more of a complete hazmat suit. This camera is tilted a little bit. Let me fix that. There you go. I'm more of a complete hazmat guy myself, but you know. We don't got hazmat suits. <laughs> no joke about I don't even would like that though. Hazmat suit, cooking, that'd be great. Yeah, hot food on me, you know, hot water on me, it slides off. I forgot how to tie it behind my back. I used to work at a grocery store, Kroger's. Look at there. I did. Never mind. Super. Or at least it said to his golden brown. <coughs> Wait, let me get some gloves on. These. So, we got this, what's it called? Min. 
Mintown. How? Mintown? What the heck can I pronounce that? Anyway, it's supposed to be a fire. Uh, it's supposed to be a oven glove made by firefighters, or four firefighters, one of the two. So, you know. You also put more in here than one, but I'm gonna put in one for the camera, and I'm gonna focus on the rest. Since it's getting so dark already, I'm gonna flip it already. I'm not trying to burn these. I guess it's gonna be one minute on each side now. And also tell, tell me to turn down to One, two, three, four. It's kind of my head. But yeah, that's basically it. And then I powder these up. And I'm also going to stick toothpicks through and make sure that they're actually done completely. And I'm not trying to eat raw dough. Let me get a little plate here. Oh, it's going to have to pitch out. I guess I'm just going to use some uh, napkins. Huh? I'm, just to get I'm not trying to leave this thing on the uh, oil without some supervision. I see we putting them on a wire rack, but the camera is where the wire rack would be at right now, so as soon as I'm done with the camera, we're going to camera, we'll put wire rack down and start doing it there. Wire rack. Wire rack? Mm. Let me check it. I see that's pretty good. It looks kind of crispy. I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to put on that wire rack behind me. I'm not wire rack, the uh, plate. I'm going to grab it. I'm not trying to burn nothing, and I also think this should drain off the oil, but I'm not trying to also get this stuck on the paper. So I'll be back when I'm done with all these and stuff. So here are the Berliners. Amy, come here. Come here. Come here. here are the Berliners. <laughs> and now the uh, guinea pig of the group, the two duo, it's going to Mm. So what's it like? Mm. Oh, sweet! Mm. Oh, okay. Can you go away? Bye.